actually going really well. Gambit are kind of struggling to break back in on this. All trades effective and all going Secret's way. Maybe a reminder, a confidence builder here for Secret after a pretty rough map two. And yeah, it's down to Shados. And there it goes. Lovely work from Secret. The got two showers. Apologies. One in the hands of Shados as well. A little bit of a crunch towards showers here. Oh, we are getting the dubstep POV, though. That's nice. Fans around the world will be loving it. Uh, Nats and Chronicle are still alive. Luckily, however, for those playing along at home, if you aren't just a fan of the dubstep cam, it does mean as though that there's only two. So, Nats and Chronicle, what can you do out of this one? Dubstep does make his way Last over to the Nats and Chronicle have actually found Player two. Standing. And now the 1v1. The spike. Dubstep up against Chronicle. The spike has been retrieved. The massacre in the showers has gone down. Dubstep actually going to play forward into this. Chronicle, it's not, he's not like he's going to be surprised by this, though. Look at him holding this angle. And patience pays. And a couple of pings coming through as well. You can see, I think, Gambit potentially with their sights set towards A. But Secret already preemptively rotating that way. Spike not committed, though. Again, Gambit, no. yeah, this is more of a typical round in terms of the timeline here. Approach that 45 second mark, their boat and Nats will start to explore short. Yeah, it does look as though they're leaning back towards that A site now after holding that default for some time, showing presence across the map. But it seems though short is going to be the destination. Nats going to be doing what Nats does best. Well, let's see if he's been red, and he has been. Jesse, well positioned, prepared to receive. Does get at left. least the visual confirmation of that player so close by. Seekers did come through as well, just kind of chasing down the final player. So everyone from Seeker is in the right place at the right time. Here is he shade off towards the shower, gonna find Borkum, but now it's everyone else who's still alive. Jesse still stands and Dubstep still stands. Seekers on the other side now come through, gonna try and isolate, but Jesse finds Chronicle off that spike. Now what more can be done in this though? That off on the way back in is gonna be tricky on the retake. Really looking towards Jesse to get something done here as he comes under pressure. Shados again stuck in this corner until that flash comes back on. Another couple of seconds on that, but Secret making the most of the time here. Except that's lovely work from him, still bringing that up to bear, finding Redgar and now Shados. Flash is there, it's not ideal, that's going to be a halfway to Fuse. The swing, it's not enough, Jesse! The cornerstone so far for Secret in my eyes. Some of these big rounds he's clutched out on, he's kept them safe, and he's kept them now... Spencer's utility is literally invested to address Nats. That is literally a counterplay there. Ooh, Jesse! The one person we're talking about, Jesse's going to find him with the Hunter's Fury. Gonna remove that piece. Gambit set up now. How do they relinquish the control here? Lord? Because but again, there's so much information being held on this. Jesse can hit that quick rotation as well, even if it's with a suboptimal weapon at this point. Flash comes in, still plenty of utility on short from that KJ. Going to give him a fair bit to lean back on here. And they still have that shower control, so it's going to give them a nice little crossfire potentially, but Gambit going to try and work their way forward. Has to give away so much information getting left. to this point. Spike can go down potentially. A tap on the spike draws out further utility, but look at the time, down to 20 seconds. And look at the players smothering from every side. A quick TP taken. That's going to be the spike towards the other side now. A couple of other players join in. And Shados tries to catch one of the heels. Oh, my word. How's he alive? And the double dip comes back out from left. the Astra fighting Shados. Redgar and Chronicle now put to work. Ult is online for Chronicle. What can you do with that, though? Okay, he's stuck on site. Not really any possibility. Did it Borkum? Actually, they both find kills. Chronicle, oh. Chronicle finds another one. No way. Redgar. Oh, dispenser. Well handled. Again, they are maintaining some of this composure in these pressure scenarios because that starts to look dicey at the end then. It does, and, and just to come back to that setup on A, I look towards the indications that they are addressing. But we saw nothing like this on Breeze, which right. was the concern, right? There was there was none of the positives we saw from Icebox. Straight away here, different story for Secret. Dubs of turns <laughs> flash! What? But does not turn away from the pressure mounting towards Long. He's got backup as well. Jesse's by his side. Defo goes down. And more start to pour forward and dubstep is doing it team. to him. And this Last is Team Secret standing. looking strong right now. Not overwhelmed this time. Keep in mind, even on Icebox, the pace change caught him off guard. That was the one get out jail free card for Gambit. This time, it ain't happening. Chronicle is left on an island. There's nothing much to do about this. Full control of the spike. Chronicle, a Spectre in hand. He's got to close the distance if he wants to even find a consolation. Some damage in a round like this. And Secret, disciplined enough. They're not going to give it away to him. Dispenser, actually... We'll lose out on that one, as I say. You need to get a little closer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chronicle makes it work at range. 
40 seconds to try and do something, though. I mean... There's bodies on that spike. Yeah. That's all I'll say. Yeah, there's a few of them. There's a few <laughs> players keeping an eye on him. He's got 20 yeah. HP. 30 seconds left. And then he goes lower down long. Just, again, just making sure they don't lose track of him. And they're still going to keep kind of a mind's eye towards where he is. And the gap's being closed, as you can see. The Astra starting to work the way. So they know where he is and where he isn't. Yes, he can be a problem, but for 10 seconds he gets shut Beautiful. down. And I'm in love with how Team Secret are playing this right now. It is, yeah, because again, now again... His pace changes have been a little hit and miss. It did get at least dealt with in the prior one, but this one, they, they at least have a heftier buy behind it, but Dubstep's still Five finding success here. Shuts down Chronicle, so keeps that line safe. Chows is That's still under control. And look at them tucked in here. Gambit trying to find Spread some bit of safety. Wit still wins out as well. Red Gar now found down to three. Defo, Nats, and Shados. What can you do with this one now? You're being surrounded all fronts. KJ Ult has come in. So the eviction notice now posted. Nats going to try and find his way out. Denies the ult. Swings in. No way, Nats! Oh, Nats out of nowhere. Three huge kills. But it's still a 2v3. It ain't over yet. Wits, can you do it? He's found the first step of 2v2, but time. Is starting to play a factor in Nats. He's slowly working his remaining. way around. He's got another. Nats has done oh it all! My God. What an insane round from. He said that there could be that switch up, and it looks like a 3 2 split towards A would be a decent switch up if they can keep committing this way. We'll retrieve that orb in showers. Oh. We're close up here, and actually happy to go all the way out no. here, but dispenser. Actually, get a bit of damage onto him. Orkum almost bailed out of that situation. Jesse will find a response onto Nats as well. Jesse always seems good for one with that all. He's been getting a couple of connections, but there's the answer right back. The pause for Thor works for Gambit. They find three to instantly alleviate the pressure that was on that eight site. Now a quick flash does at least give them a step. And maybe a concept as to where Shados is, the follow-up as well is going to be great. Going to force him you. away. One enemy remains. Now they can that. indeed Final catch him, eight. as now Shados is your last one alive. 50 seconds, Spike basically as far away as possible, and there's the answer. Jesse is your man to do it. Three kills on the board, and in take... The back of Dispenser having that lockdown really available. Idea. Jesse doesn't want to give her anything away. No point playing sight here mm -hmm. and potentially giving away a kill. But there's no Spike in hand yet. Though. No. Actually, on the side of... Gambit, you can see the nano, the nano swarm there, sorry. Just to cut off any push in towards elbow. But, spike retrieved now. It. 35 seconds, red guard outside showers. The cosmic divide invested. Actually, the lockdown the in response here. <laughs> That's a tilting way to die. Yeah, and there come the ults as well. Gambit, though, going to just crush in towards the backside of the tube on that kind of L-bend corner. Shados, that was not pretty. Wits out, does you? And the lockdown does get denied, and it is a 4v3, but Spike is planted, and Wits going to have to do something with this. Jesse expecting that flank is right to be feeling as such, but Defo's holding the line. Jesse's timing is going to have to be perfect. It's not. Redgar outdoes him, and Gambit finding ways here. Means to pressure, and as said, they were holding so deep there in secret. By the time they are able to address it, they are already in their face on the site. The ults are popped. So in full control, Garnet on the back of the Viper's pit as well. But again, it's... <laughs> Gambit's willingness to ending ahead to force their way all the way into elbow. Again, I think a, a good read based on just the scoreboard, seeing that ultimate being available. I think they they understand how secret. Are and now it becomes a problem once you've lost somebody from this A setup. What's the showers control worth? I guess without a sage in the composition, you'd argue it makes it difficult for Gambit to plan. But dubstep. How much you get out of this? It's going to be Jesse towards Left CT. Well. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Gun barrels noted. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lovely shot from Jesse. Long presence now. 30 seconds left. Found at this point, Jesse. Oh, more, more would have been perfect, but it's dubstep to find it. Gets Defo, looks towards long, can't get it. Shados on the trade out and now into a 2v2. TP taken. Spike down left. Flash is going to connect. Oh, but it connects on both sides. Blinded as Redgar now in the 1v2. And that spike is. Oh, no way, Redgar! Oh, my God, Redgar! In terms of the early round, though. So they can peel away, which oh, is what we see them doing here. But Defo will be rewarded mm. for that early progress. A scalp claim dispenser will fall. But already, Secret made moves back towards eight. I love the discipline from them. Not, Not overpush that. But let's see what Secret can do now. They've turned their attention towards that A site. 
gonna be leaning on through. Death are gonna try and catch the cross, but gets the information. Chronicle down low, gonna have to try and deal with the pressure, even though he's the walking wounded. Defo still stands his ground what? and he actually loses his life for it. Red guard gonna be called upon. TP now I taken and away we go towards that B site. They've actually managed to do this properly. They've really drawn yeah. Gambit through a loop. Dr. Fatsy will stay inside the TP. We'll get traded out, but now actually Gambit presented a 2v3. Couple members battered and bruised on the side of Secret, but again, this one stacked against Gambit. This drop down is going to be tricky. Let's see if they've got any way to facilitate this. Ooh, well, that's a bit of info. Boat. Yeah, that's not bad. Maybe he can work out where that crossfire is. He's got one flash to play with, but there's an element and they're trying to buy it. And here we go, gonna block off leaf one side, try and flash through the other. They're on towards the side, Nats finds one. He needs more, he knows where they reside, he knows where they're hiding from him. But it's the spike that's gonna be the problem and it's all down to one. Maybe there's life for them yet. Spray wildly, he's got Nats down, but now the 1v1, the defuse, oh, he's kept control of it. That was getting right. Tucking somewhere. That's exactly okay, it. Right. That is literally that isn't that just like the most perfect summary of Nat. Still good for one at the very least. And again, he only has a classic and a fair amount of utility to play with. But they're cornered into this. Yes, yeah. Again, don't expect Nats to go hunted. He's trying to entertain the possibility of retrieving that weapon. But we'll settle for the classic for the time being. Actually the sheriff, yeah. Shados. Secret though. Toxin screen down. They hang around. I argue overstaying their welcome, but they will re-explore B. I think again with the focus on not wanting left. to give away that weapon there, Dubstep actually finds the open here. Red guard will fall. That's will respond though. And Secret gotta be careful here. Deploying drone. Get him worked down. They're being just chipped away at Dubstep. So I'm going to try and keep CT safe, spots it. Just a pixel out of place is enough to keep the attention drawn. And uh oh, okay. Defu's found dubstep. We're down to two. Jesse still left loose. Position noted on towards the side. This is getting dangerous. Jesse trying to deal with that player coming through hooker. But it's going to be just down to one. Borkham, can you do this? Can you keep your team safe? Switch out to the pistol. It's getting closed in on Defo. Leaping forward. And Defo doing so much work in Gambit making secret work to even get on even footing, which they're not going to get now. Again, it comes down to a scrappy engagement, but Borkham put in a position once again, potentially. ...to this one, so you feel as though Redgar's going to get impatient, but it's Chronicle to get the first the contact people. and makes light work of Wits. Dips back in, he's not getting much pressure from this, they're just kind of looking hesitant to take the fight. He actually gets to back away, Scott Free, more damage being done as well. <laughs> Oh, this is not looking as nice as I'd like. Rotations now on route. The second layer of that. Is there more to this? Is there something else to be seen here coming out from Secret? Because I hope so. Because as it stands, this is not looking good. This is light work for Gambit as it stands. If this is how it keeps going forward, Dubstep individually works forward. There's nothing to write home about. There's Dispenser. Well, he's on B site. And again, similar, <laughs> similar situation in that previous. This looks like it's going to be bursty off the back of potentially a flash. A little piece of information, but Nats does what Nats does best. Rats it out, and here's the play. He predicts Dubstep getting towards the side, but it's shade off to find Wits. There's a swing from Dubstep. Oh. You can see it, you can see it across his face. He knows that this is looking like it's starting to be over the first. Is this aggression? We're going to. How deep we're going to walk on this? Defo. And yeah, we, we're getting aggressive, but Dubstep is right there. This is going to be a lot of players. He jumps the corner. It's not great. Nats punishes two. This is looking like they're losing hope and faith in their own plans. They're losing all of that spark that got us aboard the secret train. Defo's still got control on this. This will be a pixel shown. A little unlucky there on almost either side to an extent, but managing yeah, yeah. to make it away alive on both sides. See if they can do anything to recover this round here. Nats down to 4 HP. Shados has fallen, so no heal on the cards here. But Dispenser and Borkum worlds apart. And Gambit can sit tight in this 2-2 setup. Nats again, low HP. He's just going to try and jump spot for some info. Again, not entirely sure of the end goal here, whether or not Secret is going to allow this the clock to run down. Ooh. 
Actually, just catches a glimpse here, but Chronicle posted up and actually, good pick. Yeah, Defo will and be found suspended the on the other side. This is really nice. They've done the push on pull on either side. TP can be taken. They decide to sit towards that A site. Maybe knowing where Chronicle is is better. Left. I guess better the devil you know, right? And away we go towards the A site. Fight is so integral, and it That's could have been something. 20 seconds. Alt now invested. Dispenser, what can you do here? Can you do anything to save your side? Attack taken. And now the 1v2, Nat is in the back lines. And of course, he will be the one to take them towards 12. And this could be the downfall of Secret and Gambit ascending to where we expect them to be. And I understand there, Borkum trying to find something when they know the Chronicle, well, they assume the Chronicle is solo hit, but there's another three or four seconds. Wait That's for a double point. swing. Wait for a double swing. But now we talk composure. Now we talk yes. experience on stages. Yes, we know comfortable weaponry than I was expecting from Secret here, but you question the utility behind it. I've got Actually, Defo will find Warcoom as well, so that's the no smoke's run, removed here. Uh, we'll try and cut run. through the defense here of Gambit. Dubstep will actually find Chronicle. That makes it interesting now. It does, but it does force Defo's hand, and for now it's looking pretty deadly. Going to try and get away from the KJ. Try and move himself around a little here. Red Gods found a Spencer. This is now looking problematic. Good work comes on in as it's just dubstep now left in a 1v3 with it all on his shoulders and it's going to be an uphill battle has been shot in the back